Hello and welcome back to Microsoft Azure monitoring section. In this section, we will be working on Microsoft Azure monitoring completely. What exactly the Microsoft Azure monitoring and how that will be useful for us. So we will start with the introduction uh, that uh, includes our overview of what are the components which are involved within the Microsoft Azure monitoring and then we would go for further with some of the demos so let's understand what exactly the microsoft azure monitoring monitoring is a service within the microsoft azure cloud that helps you to increase the performance and availability of your applications and services by collecting and analyzing and acting on telemetry data from your cloud as well as your on-premises environments so uh, what are the benefits uh, what you're going to get it out of this as you're monitoring is uh, you can detect and diagnostic uh, any kind of you know, issues across your applications and its dependencies with the feature of application insight so we are going to work with the different components within the which falls under microsoft azure monitoring maybe after this slide you would be understanding more about what other components are involved let's understand what are the benefits you're going to uh, get it out of uh, Microsoft Azure monitoring and now you can you know uh, correlate infrastructure issues with the Azure monitoring for the VMs as well as for the uh, Microsoft Azure monitoring for your containers uh, containers if, if at all you have the containers and also you can drill into your monitoring data with the help of log analytic which is a again additional service which again falls under Azure monitoring section and with that you can get more in detailed information for your uh, troubleshooting purpose with a deep diagnostic log information can be collected and that can be even visualized and you can run a lot of queries on top of it so which we are going to do that uh, in the upcoming lectures but for now we will understand what exactly uh, this as your monitoring as a benefit for us so it supports operations at a scale with the smart alerts and automate actions it means that let's say you have an vm and uh, which is currently utilizing maybe a 90 percent of the cpu so you got that alert so when you get that smart alert you can integrate that alert to trigger some of the workbook to do the automated tasks let's say it can scale up um, so that that vm becomes the scaled to another layer or maybe another higher uh, scaling of number of CPUs can be increased or such kind of you know, configuration can be done with a fully automated method and at the same time you can also trigger the specific one with your ITSM so that you get an alert or ticket gets created and it will be automatically assigned to a specific team uh, which is your Intel team or whatever the theme you are you wanted to you know send it so all that can be fully automated and that is fully integrated with the Azure monitoring these are the some of the benefits now let's also talk about the last point within this slide which is the uh, create visualization of your as your dashboard so you have a real visualization of your data and you will create that with the as your dashboards and you can integrate you can add that data whatever it is coming either from the log analytics or maybe from the monitoring metrics uh, all that will be uh, pushed into a dashboard so that you have a proper a dashboard where you can have full information and also you can automate with the work let's understand more about as you're monitoring what are the sources where it can collect and other information so the first point would be the source so when we talk about the source definitely as you monitor has to collect or has to work on some kind of in you know, a source data so what are those data so if you look at here the first one would be the applications operating systems and your as your resources or subscriptions as your tenant or even any of the rest api based custom sources also can be accepted so let's say if i'm talking about the tenant i can collect the audit logs if i'm talking about the subscriptions maybe i'm talking about the service health and activity log and if i'm talking about the uh, resources uh, let's say metrics and diagnostic data or monitoring solutions all that and when i talk about the guest operating system 
it could be a diagnostic extension or maybe long analytics agent or dependency agent that will actually becomes as a source and that gives the data for as you're monitoring so what happens uh, if you have the applications so if you have the applications you can monitor full life cycle of the applications with the application insights that becomes as a one of the source and now once you have the source basically these data whatever it is uh, collecting let's say i i told earlier metrics i told about uh, logs audit logs all that becomes into two major categories so if you look at here one is a metrics which i'm going to talk and also other one would be the logs when we talk about the metrics metrics are automatically collected uh, that measures its performance so it, it's purely about the performance specific and logs are collected that shows the activity in your Azure either applications or operating systems or it can be subscriptions uh, with a little configuration you can collect more detailed logs uh, from your as you're monitoring inside uh, within your as you're monitoring portal so you can do as much as configuration you can do it within the Azure portal where you can do it uh, all this configuration within the Azure monitoring menu to uh, access a wide set of features to work with monitoring data collected across all of your applications uh, like diagnostic or all other different kind of logs so basically you need to understand here two things one is the metrics and logs we are gonna work on the metrics and the logs uh, as we go further if you take an example of any of the virtual machine within the Microsoft Azure portal and you see here you have the dashboard under overview which talks about a CPU and network uh, with this some kind of a uh, chart right this is these are the things which are coming from the metrics so you can customize these data with more uh, information let's say you can have your the CPU time or maybe other metrics information which you wanted to pull out let's say you have uh, you want to you know go for the data disk queue or read and write operations all that can be customized and you can drill down further with the different kind of um, chart methods like area chart bar chart all that so these are coming from the metrics so let's also understand about the logs so logs uh, are coming from under monitoring section under diagnostic settings so these are the additional logs so what would happen is when you enable these guest level uh, monitoring what happens is uh, since we are configuring on a virtual machine let's say that virtual machine application logs and security logs all that logs also will be redirected I mean that data will be you know, saved to uh, within the monitoring specific um, area uh, definitely that should go to one of the storage account diagnostic storage account so that's called the here you need to go for a storage account to be created that's where it will be redirected and it will be there for some time to read those logs and you can have that entire data will be populated into the Azure monitoring so, and if you see the extensions of this virtual machines there's only one extension so what happens is when you enable that actually uh, there will be an another extension gets added to the virtual machine and it would take advantage of that extension and based on that it works so uh, we will jump back to PowerPoint and understand more about it and we would be just trying to learn here as the a kind of overview and we are not actually driving into the proper demos at this point of time because it's just the overview section and uh, post to this we would be jumping into every po every possible options for the monitoring and we will deep dive into that let's understand what we have learned so far uh, within this uh, as you monitoring we talked about the data source and different data sources and different uh, set of uh, metrics or maybe logs that can be collected and these are basically two different categories of the data type one would be the metrics and other one would be the logs so post to this what we do is we would uh, configure based on those metrics and the logs uh, as the alerts or maybe we would process this information to Azure log analytics services where you 
we will be running some of the queries so that you can visualize this data that's what uh, we are going to try as the overall and let's understand uh, furthermore so we we have gone through all these custom sources and the applications different uh, source of the data and these are categorized under metrics and the logs so what would happen is you have a different total five different categories uh, within the uh, this specific data will be processed as we understand earlier as you monitor isn't just for monitoring as your services though uh, Since it can collect different uh, type of data across any layer within your application stack to illustrate this more the data that as you monitor collects starts with the Azure platform this includes a single sign-on uh, information from your Azure Active Directory or Active Directory like audit logs and the activity logs for your service health and configuration changes within your Azure resources and those resource logs along with the platform which is the application platform maybe uh, or all kind of in you know, a platform matrix which provides detail to the operating system and the performance of each resource so if you take here as example for a uh, for a minute for the compute resource such as a virtual machine let's say this virtual machine will be supporting your application infrastructure requests an agent to collect logs and performance data from guest operating system workloads these vms can live in azure or maybe another cloud or even on your on premises so you can uh, connect uh, to an existing system center operations manager that's scom uh, the scom can be use for your monitoring purpose and integrate that from there you can you know pull the data also for your applications itself we use the application insights features uh, which would uh, give you more information for the Azure monitoring to collect detailed metrics and logs related to the platform and uh, for the performance of the op operations of an application written in any language for that matter in any environment uh, for everything else as you monitor has the api's so you can use the custom api's to collect the data uh, anything from the rest api client and data from all resources is collected together the as you monitor uh, into either metrics or the logs as we talked earlier and this allows us to analyze the data across all of your uh, resources using a common set of methods and tools if you look at the, uh, if you look at more about the metrics and logs uh, one more time on metrics are stored in the time series database and that are very light lightweight and capable of supporting uh, near to the real time scenarios which making them practically useful for alerting and fast decision of issues let's say if the high the spike of the cpu is higher you get the real time and you can act on them on immediate basis and you can take the first decision on that issue and if you look at the logs logs contains a different kinds of data that you can uh, get it from the log analytics uh, with the log analytics dashboard uh, so what happens is it will gather from a different set of the logs and so not just from the one source so it would contains the multiple source so that means you are getting a more powerful uh, information because the source is multiple and uh, this information can be queried with the query language and they're especially useful for performing complex analysis across your data from a variety of sources once the data is being you know collected as your monitor has a complete set of features to analyze and it can act on that so that you can interactively work with metric data using matrix explorer and uh, within the microsoft as your portal so so here what exactly the log analytics so if you look at the log analytics is what it is performing here is it's gonna it's a kind of tool that lets you write query to analyze all of your log data and interactively work with the results and add metrics uh, in a form of graphics and uh, output from your log queries to as your da dashboard so you can get this information populated in your dashboard so you can simply go to your dashboard to uh, see what's going on uh, in a single view for your as your metrics and these dashboards can be exported and imported so that you can share with your colleagues so it's so easy once uh, one person has created uh, you can always go and view it that specific dashboards 
let's also understand that what, what are these uh, five different things so if you look at here you can integrate with whatever the data is coming based on the data matrix or logs you can integrate with them with the logic apps or functions or you can you can also integrate with a third party rest apis and you can once it is integrated you can respond based on the alerts and the, these alerts can be auto scaled uh, let's see if a vm is spiked up then it can go for auto scale or, or increase the size of the vm and you can analyze with the help of metrics and log analytics as we talked earlier and whatever it's going on that all can be visualized in the form of dashboards or views or you can also even integrate with your power bi and workbooks and once we have done that the final one would be the inside so when we talk about the insights, insight provides a customized monitoring experience built on as you monitor data and uh, different features that it has uh, for particular applications and services. Application insights is the most extensive and, uh, and it provides a sophisticated set of uh, features for monitoring ages and uh, performs the data in addition to uh, identifying exceptions throughout all of the components of Azure uh, different uh, your applications. Microsoft provides insights of some of the more common Azure services that provides additional value beyond the standard Microsoft Azure uh, monitoring features used in monitor uh, these services. Let's take an example to understand this statement. Uh, if you take a current insights of the uh, include uh, the virtual machines, containers, or uh, networking services, or other services that are regularly uh, being added. So it gives you the uh, direct data for you uh, without uh, going for the in-depth in of your application insight information. In addition to that, when you go for the insight information, you get the more in detailed information so that you can analyze and you can act and you can monitor that data. So you may have other tools in your environment such as the uh, maybe um, APM providers or DevOps tools or maybe visualization tools or third-party analytics or uh, semi tools or automation services or ITSM so you can integrate all this information with uh, all of these uh, different third-party tools and you can get a benefit out of it let's say one uh, final example before we wind up like you have some uh, application is going wrong so you get that uh, information from the application insights of the debug logs which are uh, which are sent to log analytics and that information is visualized with the help of either power bi or views or from the dashboard and what you can do is since this is going down you can set a conditional um, conditional uh, alert if this alert triggers you go and create a ticket or send an email as an alert or um, do a sms or do a paging as well as the to run some kind of you know, workbooks for the automation and that kind of third-party integrations also you can do it so it's a full-fledged Azure monitoring as the solution for you so let's conclude what we have learned so far so we learn about uh, these are the key bullet points like you can monitor and you can collect the data from a different sources and you can uh, even think about your application uh, application data or maybe operating system or it can be any of the Azure resources or from your on-premises or for that matter any of the cloud data can be uh, monitored and you can also monitor application data, guest operating system monitoring and as your resource monitoring, as your subscription auditing, all that can be done. So this concludes how uh, about the Azure monitoring. I hope this lecture is useful for you and we will be catching you in the next lecture. I hope this lecture is useful for you. We will be catching you in the next upcoming lecture more about practically how best we can work with the metrics and uh, different type of uh, queries within the log analyzing and creating adding diagnostic settings and different logs collecting and storing them in your azure storage and also we work with the storage account how the logs are stored so this is all about the azure monitoring you can also work with the alerts 
like uh, you can set some kind of an alerts and that would trigger a ticket for that all that will be exciting things will be uh, we will be working in the upcoming lecture i hope this is useful for you thank you for watching this